السلام علیکم دی اسٹوڈنٹس ام مسٹر محمد خالد اینڈ ان آر ٹوڈیز ڈسکشن فار اسلامک اسٹڈیز ویک ٹین لیکچرز نائنٹین اینڈ ٹوینٹی از اباؤٹ نیچرل ریسورسز آف پاکستان اینڈ وی will discuss the following points natural resources of pakistan mineral resources power resources advanced resources water resources irrigation system of pakistan and the forest resources let's first have a little bit definition about the natural resources natural resources are the natural gifts or assets in form of raw material and environment which adds with the importance of the country natural resources are a direct and indirect contributor to the income of the country and natural resources also help a country or a nation to generate the income and spend the very income on the life standards life uplift of the people and also on the infrastructure of the government and the country natural resources are highly significant in providing a country a central position politically and economically among the other nations well natural resources as i said are a direct contributor to the economy of a country it is quite true that just like the sources of income in our house to meet up the expenses of our daily life every country has a different resources the major chunk of those resources do come from the natural resources well natural resources can be divided into three layers layer 1 the resources which are available on the surface of the earth secondly the resources which are beneath our feet mean they are hidden in the earth and fourth they are in the air clear above our heads well on the surface of the earth mean the land topography of a country mean location and the topography of the country clear mean the country is located in some central position on the planet or the country is just like in the corner of the uh, the planet earth secondly what are the surrounding or who are the surrounding nations are the nations advanced or the nations are not advanced cultural uh, value then mount topography mean the whether the country is a uh, highland it is a uh, a country with mountains the rivers uh, fertile areas deserts plateaus uh, or the country is comprising like uh islands 
or whatsoever. So these are the uh, resources like on the surface I said deserts, mountains, rivers, canals, lakes, fine livestock and then above the earth is above our heads is seasons whether the country whether uh, the sun it is open to sun or it is uh, a country like uh, polars clear seasons fine and then the beneath the earth beneath the earth mean that mostly the resources like minerals like coal oil gas chromite copper uh, salt and many more many more uh, metals and other compositions are found which are called minerals well in the given context we should uh, understand the natural resources that our country in Pakistan has number one on the parameters I explained earlier Pakistan is located in a very central position on the map it is open to in Indian Ocean and has a coastline of almost 750 kilometers and is linked with oil enriched areas of Middle East it is also surrounded by the world's largest populations ethnic variations cultural variety and also the emerging superpowers of the future like China Russia Central Asian countries plus the oil rich uh, nations of the Middle East well the geographical location of Pakistan has transformed its economy into the transit economy like CPAC is a game changer that is going to run as nerves into China Russia and Central Asia and all these countries will be directly connected in future however the hurdles are quite open because of the original opposition by India and the others well second thing is that Pakistan number one topography Pakistan is lucky or among the nations who have all types of lands means the highest mountains of the world like Himalaya, Kurakaram, Peer Panjal, Fine Kashmir, Gilgit Baltistan, Chitral and the other areas of KPK they are highest mountains and are housed to the highest peaks, glaciers, lakes, uh, rivers and they are the greatest source of agriculture in Pakistan in and all over the subcontinent these areas are spectacular beauty in the world and they are just like Switzerland and some of the areas are more sweet than the Switzerland so the chances of tourism are more than the other areas of the region secondly 
the beauty and greenery on the mountains also uh, gives birth to delicious appreciable fruits in the world like apricot, almond, grapes, uh, apples of the high quality are produced in these areas. Well, if you come down these area then the uh, then we see uh, the plain areas Punjab, Sindh and KPK are the world's uh, best fertile areas in the world which produces a variety of crops like cotton, rice, uh, wheat, barley and many others. Well, then Pakistan is blessed with plateau, I mean the highest indulate, the indulating lands, clear. Uh, there are two major plateaus in plateaus in Pakistan, the Potwar plateau and the Balochistan plateau. Potwar plateau is uh, primarily uh, colorful and a house of the many ancient civilizations and cultures and also is full to with uh, filled with natural resources like oil and gas and uh, salt whereas the Balochistan plateau is more significant in terms of uh, munificent uh, resources of oil gas and others and then come the deserts of Pakistan deserts of Pakistan are house of the ancient cultures they are excellent about the uh, dairy products and secondly semi-arid areas like southern Punjab there are certain minerals are found and then the coastal line of Pakistan is now the backbone of the economy the courts, ports of Karachi uh, Pinkasa and Gwadar these are the major ports whereas other ports Pisni uh, and Pasni and others are also of the high significance. Well, Pakistan is blessed with the resources above our heads, I mean five weathers, winter, summer, autumn, rainy season, fine. So there are four weathers mostly but some people include uh, rainy weather in it and these weathers uh, impact directly on the agriculture, moods of the people, social lives of the people and many more. Hope that you have understood the importance of the natural resources. Thank you very much.